Hey, Nick. Hey, Chase. It's that time again. What time is it? Time for Fuck, Fuck This Play! <laughs> your um i love your um fireplace yeah it's been the highlight of the pandemic it's yeah like my signature yeah for zoom yeah yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> well, i thought you were like implying that like oh you took the pandemic to build a fireplace <laughs> oh no, no out of marble <laughs> yeah, yeah. Imagine. It's italian i finally got around to it you know <laughs> I just can't imagine that in the past you would have needed a fire. Well, in the olden days, you know, they loved fire, you know. But in the olden days, it was still a desert, LA, right? Yeah. Yeah, but That's LA insane. used to have much colder winters, not like cold, but cooler, mm. you know. Mm. I think it's insane. <laughs> so I'm not going to defend the person who built this fireplace, mm -hmm. but I'm just saying, I think that, I think that from people I've talked to that are like, yeah, they grew up here or whatever, they're like, yeah, you used to get. Like winters used to be a lot rainier and, uh, you know, c cooler. And I, I think if like, you had, yeah. let's say, three rainy days in a row, <laughs> you <laughs> might think to yourself, well, what if I had a fireplace, you know, and no other heat source? Also, this place does get a little colder than outside. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even uh -huh. the there are places in L.A. that like I've been in in the winter, quote unquote. <laughs> I've been like, it is a little chilly in this room. I don't know how. But it's chillier than I would expect. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> and that's cool. the theme of the podcast is fireplaces, uh -huh. which I just I'll just intro us because we're going <laughs> to spiral. Uh, welcome to Fuck This Place, a podcast about jobs uh, with Chase and Nick. My name is Chase. My name is Nick. And with us today, another fantastic guest. She is a writer and a comedian. Her works have appeared in the hard times, but she is with us here today. We have Caitlin Jeffers. Caitlin, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you guys? Doing good. Doing good. My allergies are killing me. Really? Other than that, I'm doing good. I, I got a lot of flies in my up. apartment. Oh, shit. Flies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm in a newish place. Like, I've been there for about a month. And as of yesterday, just flies. It was just <laughs> like, um, we. Wait, you don't live down the street anymore? I don't live. Yeah, we moved to Highland Park. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. You know, yeah. that's why there's so much room behind me. <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, a, two, a whole two bedroom. Um, oh, my God. Yeah, it's insane. I need to hear more about this. When yeah. We're yeah. Done. Off pod. <laughs> yeah. Um, I want to, I want to hear more about the flies. Yeah, no, yeah. I'm happy to share about the flies. <laughs> so like we, um, it, it this is a, a ground floor and it's a little bit like shadier of an apartment, which thank fucking God. Cause my other place was just, just like a magnifying glass of heat and sun. And, um, and so we can have the windows open at night and we can have the windows open for a little while in the morning before we have to turn the air conditioning on. Mm -hmm. And so we just thought like, let's do that. You know, that sounds nice. <laughs> and like, just like flies in the most like cartoonish sense. Like, it's like, you know, sometimes it's like, Oh, I got flies. And it's like, Oh, it's a bunch of fruit flies. Or like, I have flies. And they're like, you know, but these are just like the size you'd expect, like them not big? not oh. super huge, just like mm -hmm. like like the size horse of like a pea. flies, like gigantic. horse flies, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. dragonflies, mm -hmm. um, locusts is what we have mm -hmm. actually. Mm -hmm. um, feel like a paintball when they hit you. Yeah, but they're yeah they're uh. big enough to not you you can feel them when they land on you, you know, mm -hmm. and they're big enough to disrupt the noise of the room that you're in, mm -hmm. and so. I don't know what the fucking deal is. We've closed the windows. Piss off a wizard or anything, huh? Just nothing, <laughs> no spells. No, I, just, well, these flies are just there. We are. Our apartment is probably the closest in proximity to the dumpster, right? Oh, oh yeah. That, uh, that's what I, okay. Now, hmm. uh, now we're yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. It, 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 We've got sure. a clue. But the dump, yeah, I, I, I agree that the dumpster is for sure the main cause, but it's also like, don't they have a ton of stuff to do there? <laughs> like, isn't there, a, isn't there like a, there a feast in this dumpster? Isn't that exactly where they want to be is inside this dumpster. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So why, what kind of, what am I? Yeah, hey, that's some fair questions. I mean, I, I don't have the answers. But yeah. I mean, I, that's I how they it, got here. You know, uh -huh. that's the real estate mm -hmm. grab. Anyway, we're going to jump into our first segment, Caitlin, because okay. fly talk isn't getting us anywhere. And I don't think <laughs> it really deserves to. Um, our first segment on every podcast, Caitlin, is a segment we call Fuck This Place Question Mark, where we decide if we would work somewhere or not. Oh, and you, cool. yeah, yeah. Uh, whether we would, you know, fuck this place or whether we would say, you know, a job, mm. a day. Um, so we've actually pulled Craigslist posts uh, from the New York City region. Mm -hmm. 
Uh-oh. You are originally from Rockland County, which is just north yes. of New York. Mm-hmm. But your formative years are New York. I mean, we can get into the details later. But bottom line is yeah. you're familiar enough with the landscape to give us uh, some clues as to what's going on in these job posts. So okay. I have picked three job posts. All right. you're, I'm going to read the title. You're going to pick the one you for sure don't want to look at, like an automatic fuck this place. And then we'll look mm-hmm. at the other two and decide whether we'd work there or not. All right. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Post number one title is write 750 word paper. Post number two title is TikTok opportunity. $16. I think they mean $16 per hour, but truthfully it says $16 hour, you know, just to be clear, <laughs> TikTok okay. opportunity, $16 hour plus bonus for followers. And then post number three is rescue large monkeys from old Oak tree. So which one is for sure? Like, I'm not going to click on this, the large monkeys, the TikTok opportunity or write six or write 750 word paper. Honestly, I think TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Because anybody who's on Craigslist talking about a TikTok opportunity has got a real mismatch of technology. <laughs> yeah. Also, I my feelings can't take any rejection on TikTok. <laughs> okay, great, 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 great. Well, uh, where I, is this oak tree full of monkeys? I was going to say, let's jump into the monkey situation. <laughs> We, know we what sort of for. know what's going on with the uh, with the paper. Like that's that's a pretty clear cut and dry. Okay, so uh, the post reads: title uh, of post number one is "Rescue Large Monkeys from Old Oak Tree." This is not a new oh. oak tree, and it says it's in Park Slope, which is a part of Brooklyn. Yeah, it's in Park Slope, and there are zero pictures. Which I kind of you know we run into pictures. Of, uh, uh, I'd say fifty fifty. This would be a real good opportunity for at least the tree. You know, uh-huh. Uh-huh. I know you probably can't get a good shot of those monkeys, but here uh, is the text. I need two to three. <laughs> love that it's ambiguous. Large monkeys <laughs> removed from an oak tree in my backyard. They just won't leave. <laughs> Have no idea how they got there. <laughs> and then there's just one more line. It says must have own tools mm. right back with availability and proposed fee. Thanks. And then compensation says negotiable, which it seems to me like that's actually not true. (laughs) Um, If you know how to get monkeys out of a tree, my guess, if you're in or around Park Slope, name your price. And I feel like someone could either pay it or be cajoled into paying it because, again, you're the only person who can remove monkeys from trees. Uh In Park Slope. Yeah, it's weird. Like, you're the only person who has tools that I guess will help you count how many monkeys there are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. How do you not mm-hmm. know if it's two or three? <laughs> how do you not know if it's two or three? I understand mm-hmm. if you don't know if it's like five or six, right? Mm-hmm. But two or three, that's yeah. not that yeah. hard to spot. It's like, I what? for sure saw two, and then I heard a rustling in the bushes over here. So I don't know if that's a, <laughs> it's a Jurassic Park situation. Could it's be my Could be my neighbor. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Caitlin, you were saying? Oh, no, I'm just, yeah, Perplexed. I'm wondering what the tools are. are is it <laughs> tranquilizers? Oh, That's what I would, have, I would imagine if it was zoo? like, yeah, yeah, like if it was a zookeeper right. of some kind, they would have like some kind of a tranquilizer. A dart. Um, yeah, a dart. I, yeah, or a net or a mm-hmm. rope, you know? Mm-hmm. I those, think, are the, those are the tools that I know. A, a, a cage or, or a van, if mm-hmm. once you have them captured and if they're not asleep, you're really going to need something to contain them in. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't like how guarded this post feels considering how mm-hmm. just bonkers his request is. Agreed. You know? Like yeah. he, this, there's no, this guy, whoever this guy is, feels very much like you, his friends once in a while run into him and he's like taped up and he's got like a ball gag kind of hanging out of his mouth. And he just goes, you'll never believe what happened. Like, kind of <laughs> like, like real vague sound. It's like, uh-huh. uh, you're a weirdo somewhere in this. You're a weirdo uh-huh. <laughs> um, for uh-huh. having these monkeys in this tree. Yeah. Can I also, ask, please. Where please. The, uh, yeah, you can ask Go ahead, Caitlin. <laughs> no, uh, where the other two are located the other two jobs are located um the other we can get yeah i can take a quick poke the other one is in nyc and the other one is in mount vernon oh all right wait doing tiktok in mount vernon we want to wait hold on (laughs) (laughs) we have not even decided whether we would take this job or not we can take a look at the tiktok but uh but here's the other thing that i'm a little suspicious about this person claims to have a backyard which means they're Uh loaded 
Like if you if you have a backyard in any part of the New York metro region, you got some coin. Well, what if it's a, a landlord? You also have some coin. <laughs> You're a landlord. Yeah, yeah. I don't if know. you call it now, good again, it could be that it's just your backyard, incidentally, right? Hmm. But also, if you can, I, in my opinion. Correct me if I'm wrong here, Kaylin. You're probably the foremost expert on uh, on NYC rents, but I'm going to go ahead and say that even if you're renting a backyard, you still got some coin. Yeah, and park slope probably. Uh, yeah, correct. Sure. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying is I just think that like I, I'm going to I'm going to side with you, Nick, in the sense that like yeah, I think this is this person's monkeys, <laughs> mm-hmm. and it was mm-hmm. a part of like a dinner party gone wrong. Yeah, you know? this is this some sort of mon- monkey antics. Yeah, and they just happen like, to be wearing tuxedos. Mm-hmm. You're going to go there, and he's going to be like floating away in a hot air balloon, screaming, <laughs> "Let me explain! Let me explain!" <laughs> Just, also, yeah. it says they just won't leave. They just like, won't yeah. leave. Uh-huh. <laughs> just tried uh-huh. to reason with them, and they just won't leave. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> they just won't. Uh-huh. That's what and I mean. And is he trying to chase them into Brooklyn? <laughs> what is? <laughs> yeah. Was that the first plan? Where does he expect them to go? Uh-huh. And uh, like, and I, I understand that I have no idea how they got there. Which you know, to be fair, if if I was anywhere and there were monkeys in the tree, including places where monkeys could be in trees, I would say. I have no idea how they got there. It's not my job to know how the monkeys get there. But like, you're not even going to describe that the monkeys are making specific noises. Also, there's an anim- what about animal control? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Aren't there mm-hmm. professionals yeah. for this? What What do you think? What do you think I've got that you don't? <laughs> you yeah. know, some fucking like crocodile Dundee guy like sits down at a, on Craigslist every Saturday afternoon mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. to just look for like rogue pandas yeah, yeah. and he, monkeys. He's like, I've, I've very much strained my relationship with the local zoo. I can't call them. So now <laughs> I'm burning some the bridges internet for help. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So, so, I mean, obviously, no, like I, I couldn't help you if I wanted to, and I for mm-hmm. sure don't want to. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so no, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm out. Like I said, I'm going to show up and there's no way this guy's not like upside down in a snare going just like, again, like, Oh my God, you're never going to believe this. Like that. <laughs> so I just don't want anything yeah. to, uh, yeah. mm-hmm. I don't want to, I mean, I am curious. I will tell you that I sure. do want to yeah. know more. I do hope this guy looks like the villain from the first Jumanji movie. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like the safari rich guy with a, with like a monocle and like a huge ass rifle. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I do have a a secret hope that that's what this man is. Mm -hmm. That would be kind of cool. Looking after an old estate. Yeah. Um, Yeah. But yes, I agree that. uh, Buddy. (laughs) <laughs> we can't get these monkeys out of your out of this yeah. tree. And uh-huh. I think even if you're trained, you're gonna have a really hard time getting monkeys out of the place where monkeys go. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. This isn't like getting a cat yeah. out of a tree where cats are like, I like this tree, and all of a sudden I don't like this tree anymore. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Monkeys yeah. are like, no, man, me and it's like that's like asking, can I please get these squirrels out of this tree? Yeah. Depending yeah. on the size uh-huh. of these. And they says these are they're large. Yeah. How big and he says talking? he says rescue like they're not completely uh-huh. in control of that situation in that tree. Uh-huh. You know, mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. I, I climb that tree. They're kicking me out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They are voting you out of that tree. Yeah. yeah. Rescue Nick from large monkeys. In the tree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Correct. So, yeah, I'm going to say fuck this place. Yeah. Same. Same. Yeah. Great. Well, move on to move. We're going to move on to write 750 word paper, but we might have time for this TikTok situation. If you're very curious about the Mount Mm -hmm. Vernon uh, area, Uh, but post number two is write 750 word paper, one line pretty much. And this person says, hi, I need someone to write a 750 word paper on Greek sculptures, more info provided once contacted and the compensation will discuss payment with party, make me an offer based on work and I will accommodate. That is the post. I think it should be, it says NYC in the post here, but I think it should be noted that this is like, Manhattan like this is like lower this is rich people are here right yeah I mean rich people are everywhere that's in true. New York at this point <laughs> I'm just saying can we milk this person for 750 words I think the answer is maybe yeah I are they a college student I assume I'm gonna probably... I kind of hope that they're a um I think honestly part of me says high school because they're saying Greek sculptures <laughs> Mm. because that's so vague <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what mm-hmm, the fuck mm-hmm. are you talking about greek sculptures you mean like uh, that's true yeah. he didn't even say of a certain era you know because like again i'm no i'm no 
Greek scholar, but I know that there's mm-hmm. different eras, mm-hmm. you know, <laughs> like yeah, it was probably yeah. like early oh. and late at the very least. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. I'm no Greek sculpture myself, but <laughs> <laughs> I will say it is weird that he didn't uh, like his, his grammar and it, it's pretty bad. There's, he didn't capitalize more, <laughs> which is the first word right. of that oh, yeah. second of the two sentences Shum- he yeah. has here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I think uh, I'll, this guy needs help. <laughs> I'll say that. Like I, I believe he needs help writing a paper. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. And seven hundred and fifty words is not that much. It's not I was going to say much. it's also that's another reason why I think it might be high school. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right? Yeah, because because I mean I I don't remember word counts and pages, but yeah, again, less than a thousand is kind of like look, we could do that, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. A couple this, of Wikipedia's, <laughs> a couple of uh, thusly's in there, you know, a couple of yeah. therefores. <laughs> Most hard like, times articles many? are yeah. Most hard times articles are like three fifty. <laughs> so right, 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 like, right. Yeah. And 350 is like what, like four three word paragraphs? Pretty much, yeah. Or three sentence paragraphs, mm-hmm. I mean. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's not much. So this is like a, this to me sounds like a pretty standard, possibly like two page, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. maybe. It's insane to me that if you page. are in high school, you're going to buy, I don't know. Like this, just, that's why well, we're that's in why- a pandemic. <laughs> like you got nothing else going on mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. well i think that's i mean for these people it may not be true if they're going back to school you know like you know well, if, if you're going back what? to school ask another student <laughs> like, yeah ask, ask someone who's good at this like, yeah or, or crisis, studying you're the gonna same. get an adult <laughs> you are gonna get an adult i think that's likely yeah mm-hmm. also Which, it's under writing gigs mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah you know well you know there are writers perusing writing gigs mainly mm-hmm. they are looking more for you know um like creative <laughs> yeah, yeah stuff rather than assignments mm-hmm. um mm-hmm. it's just class. like it's, it's funny because he's like so, mrs melker's fourth grade he's curriculum. so vague that it's just like you could send him a paper like this is what i think about greek sculptures this is just <laughs> my personal opinion on them yeah there's no yeah, yeah. direction at all i think they're smart mm-hmm. <laughs> um i won't pretend that at a time in my life I wouldn't have done this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, but um, mm-hmm. but I'm not gonna talk to this kid now. <laughs> I'm saying kid, hopefully. Uh-huh. God forbid this is an adult. Sure, yeah. <laughs> like, this is imagine a, it's just like a 40-year-old dude who's uh-huh. like, I just need I just need yourself. one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I got a date wanna... coming up. I'm just yeah. trying to sound smart. <laughs> I need you to go to a FedEx print shop and print it for me and hand mm-hmm. deliver um, <laughs> because they're old. And that's what 40 year olds like. They like um, things uh, on good cardstock. Um, yeah. Yeah. We do hope that they're young enough that this is a, a fool's errand. Um, yeah. I, I also think it, actually this attracts me. We've had other writing assignments and this one attracts me just a touch more um and i think that i would in another life be like you know what maybe i will i just wish they had given a ballpark on the price yeah you know literally per word or a total you know what i mean just like Mm -hmm. oh i'll pay you 75 bucks you know or something because they'd be like okay well maybe we could i can i have a, a basis on which to negotiate. So for that reason, I will say this person is just trying to lowball the fuck out of you or whoever uh, messages. And for that reason, I will say, fuck this place. I would be curious mm-hmm. to hear what they're... What's the they say, <laughs> we'll discuss payment, make an offer based on work, and I will accommodate. Accommodate. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm big just word so for someone who didn't capitalize the M and more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. And also a big word for someone who can't write 750 words. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. And yeah. I don't like that they put it in the writing opportunities section. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah you do uh-huh. feel like they're cheating a little bit on the writing uh-huh. gigs. <laughs> I mean, it's a gig. Uh-huh. Yeah. Boy, is it your lucky day because I am <laughs> way behind in class. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, so, you know, probably fuck this place i think mm-hmm. is, is our yeah, conclusion yeah yeah um caitlin do you want to take a quick peek at this tiktok thing are you yeah, still okay fine <laughs> bust that open okay bust it open <laughs> 16 dollar an hour monthly bonus it's like there's this okay, is oh, yeah, hold on hold on hold on <laughs> caitlin <laughs> dominic at the car wash for the <laughs> readers at home the text title is tiktok opportunity 16 dollars per hour uh bone a uh, plus bonus for followers, there are three pictures, and I do think they're important. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> to take I, a think, look at I think it's very important for the, our viewers to know, our listeners yeah. to know that this first picture rules. <laughs> yeah, this picture yeah. is great. Yeah, this picture is honestly like, <laughs> I, it's hard to think of a better one that like mm-hmm. exists. So what it is, <laughs> is it's a person, what yeah. I would consider in like a, in like an abominable snow person yeah, or like, like a Yeti, Yeti yeah. costume, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but it's full, ma- full face mask. Right? Yeah, like, yeah. But it also doesn't fit super well. Anyway, it hangs. Dude, it, it looks like he's wearing MMA gloves. <laughs> yeah. And the person yeah, is, he's not like... Yes, the person is wearing what could be work gloves or <laughs> MMA yeah. gloves and is holding up a check. The check is from uh, Russell Speeder's car wash and it's paying to the order of Dominic. <laughs> <laughs> it's Dom for short, obviously. Uh-huh. And it's $1,000. And the memo says 500K views. TikTok and it's he's, from, he's, he's course, holding Brussels. that check like what's that like John Cusack movie say anything say when he's anything. holding <laughs> yeah he's holding the yeah. he, that's the type In of holding your it eyes. yeah it's it is yeah. a very triumphant mm-hmm. over the over mm-hmm. the shoulder yeah uh, e- even the aggressiveness of the yeti mask is also kind of like yeah like yeah, he's like kind of into it mm-hmm. like yeah and he is standing bit. in front of it's it's difficult to tell this is photoshopped because it could be all this i think could this be, is horribly photoshopped i mean i know i, I believe that the check is photoshopped <laughs> but I, what i'm saying is i think the elements m- m- like may be real because like where did you mm-hmm. get a check that says it, these things. Did you write on it? It's partially see-through. You can see the clouds through. Yeah, the yeah, there's the, the opacity. The there's the opacity. <laughs> also, he's standing in front of what looks like Thank a you, building yeah. loading mm-hmm. zone. Yeah, loading not a zone. Car wash. Not a car, like yeah. a roll-up door or something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So anyway, it, it's a bit. Fun. This is picture number one of three. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Picture number two. SpongeBob, <laughs> a man. <laughs> SpongeBob cause. But this is clearly. This is definitely from partycity.com or something mm-hmm. right like, yeah. this is just a man in a licensed character's costume mm-hmm. and he's a mm-hmm. white guy and he's waving i don't mm-hmm. know if it's dom or who but he's got yeah. you know like almost like 70s brady bunch hair mm-hmm. and then picture number three total departure from the first two it's uh-huh. like a i don't know, like kind of like a flyer it says a career not just a car wash there's like a you know what i would consider a montage of of people's faces that clearly work there or have worked there like this is uh-huh. not uh getty images or anything yeah yeah and then it says do you strive for excellence enjoy meeting people and working in a fast-paced outdoors environment join our professional team and you too you too will be mentored by the best in the automated car industry for your career and financial success automated car industry difficult to tell what an automated car industry is it's not like uh, a tesla <laughs> I would think automated car wash industry is probably what they're mm. going for, but they just didn't want to, they couldn't fit it on the flyer. Uh, and this is <laughs> paid training for every position, career development plan, promotions based on performance, not seniority, which appreciate, you know, like, yeah. I guess saying that. Um, okay. So then the text begins and there's a, a little bit of text here. So we're oh. going to kind of like breeze through, but it yeah. says, have fun on the job and go viral on TikTok and be compensated for followers. Oh. Uh. That's there's not. so much there's so much more enthusiasm on that second and in this one <laughs> sentence with two ands in it. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah, they're very excited about you getting compensated for followers and it says be one hour top comedic entertainers. I think one of ours what they mean. Uh, be one four. of our top comedic top four. Oh, there's four comedic uh-huh. entertainers who greet customers as they drive into Russell Speeder's car wash in our new location in Mount Vernon. Are you familiar with Mount Vernon, Caitlin? Yes, I am. Great. Too familiar, maybe. <laughs> um, full-time or part-time, they say. Mm-hmm. Sixteen dollars an hour, monthly bonus, flexible schedule, paid training, free car wash membership. Okay, that's a perk. Because the, the salt on the roads will really get you there. Yeah. Oh, smiles and giggles <laughs> from our customers. And then I think this is when we get into the meat of the job. Are you energetic <laughs> and outgoing? Do you have character acting experience? Do you like to perform and practice your dance moves? We have a captive audience waiting to see you. <laughs> captive oh my God. is doing a lot of lifting there, but I do believe they are, in fact, captive in the sense that they are stuck. In, in the line, cars. they have been held <laughs> captive mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. they might as they, they have to face forward because that's where their car is going to go mm-hmm. when it's their turn to move it into the car wash. Mm-hmm. And then it says, Yes, <laughs> you will dress in one of our fun costumes and use our latest cool, <laughs> cool. <laughs> high pressured spray equipment. <sighs> oh man, wait a second. Okay, all right. 
uh, okay, I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep reading, but I think I've, I think something is major has dawned on me that I didn't think I tracked earlier. Mm-hmm. We need outgoing fun personalities with a lot of energy must be able to be on your feet all day outside in a fast paced outdoor environment in all types of weather. Yeah. I believe that mm-hmm. this position requires standing, moving around constantly and having fun. What you will do is create entertaining routines. <laughs> oh, fuck, the only man. thing worse then someone saying if your skit was good uh-huh. <laughs> is someone saying your routine uh, is good. It's like we're watching who's on first um, for our customers driving into our car wash m- must be independent and self-motivated, flexible and adaptable requires person work outside in costume in various weather conditions. Okay. Now I'm doubling back. Cause here's what I thought a second ago. I thought you were doing the car wash. <laughs> like I thought you were oh, washing no. cars as the Yeti. But I think that they just give you a high pressured spray equipment to just like fuck around <laughs> with. Yeah. You know, like play with what you'll receive. Yeah. Is like the same scare shit. dogs in the cars or whatever. Uh-huh. You definitely get into <laughs> accidentally doing. Yeah. There's so much dog piss and all these cars <laughs> from dogs getting scared. Um, so, yeah, things that, that you're, you'll receive $60 an hour overtime available. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're getting overtime your first Yeah, shift. yeah. It's just like, dude, it's great. $16 an hour. And also, sometimes we'll keep you longer than we said we would. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of perks here. Supportive team and fun atmosphere. Flexible schedule. Part-time off uh, after one year for full-time. Part- Paid Oops, time off. Thank you so much. Paid time off after one year for full-time, which that seems like that's a normal thing if you're full-time. Um, advancement opportunities. And then multiple costumes to choose from. And I would guess not only are there multiple costumes to choose from, but each one is stinkier than the last. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah. I got yeah. real, that really bounced off my ear weird when it said like one of our costumes you can oh. wear. I was like, Oh <laughs> yeah. man. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, you've closet. got it. Yeah. There is one mm-hmm. closet and it's where the mop is too. <laughs> and there's like seven to 10 costumes of various sizes. This one's like, Oh, this is Robin hood. Or, you know what I mean? yeah, yeah. And they all smell so bad. They've been around yeah. for well, so like, long. We'll put it this way. The costumes are so bad that they use stock images from Google of other <laughs> costumes. <laughs> yeah. They're not showing us what's in that mm-hmm. damp closet where they keep yeah. the costumes. <laughs> yeah that's they just hose the costumes down it the costumes mm-hmm. go on top of a car at the end of every shift yeah 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 and yeah. that's how they get washed Come which would be honestly a godsend you know because mm-hmm. most of the time I, my guess is that doesn't even happen it just gets put away and tomorrow it lives to fight another day mm-hmm. um yeah tough road and they did not actually break down the compensation structure for more tiktok followers but they do they do it's cite true. smiles and giggles from the customers yeah, as well. compensation <laughs> twice. They do. <laughs> <laughs> it does it does say it twice. Uh-huh. Yeah. And I mean I I too have been paid in smiles and giggles from, from customers. And boy, you run real short of those eventually. Uh-huh. Um, mm-hmm. not a lot of cereal you can buy on mm-hmm. smiles and giggles. Mm-hmm. Um, I absolutely more than the other two. Fuck this place. <laughs> I don't want yeah. anything to do. Yeah, with fuck this. these people. I'm yeah. glad that we investigated all this and my initial reaction. <laughs> <laughs> my yeah, correct. Of Your instinct of like this was the mm-hmm. worst one. Yeah, mm-hmm. you, you, nailed you can't it. trust a yeti. If I've said it once, <laughs> I've said it a thousand times. Especially mm-hmm. a yeti who brings up TikTok as soon as you meet. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. So yeah, I think across the board, fuck this place. What's up, everybody? What's going on, guys? Wanted to remind you that you can text the podcast anytime you want. Night or day, whenever the hell you want. It's fine. It's uh, The number is 470-BAD-JOBS. The actual numbers are 470-223-5627. That's the number. So yeah, anytime you want. Like I said, middle of the night, whenever. We don't got jobs right now. Whatever's going on with you is going on with us. I mean, absolutely. Maybe you maybe you still have a job and it's like shitty. You can tell us about that. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe you don't have a job and it, was, and it was shitty before. Maybe you're getting one of those weird like uh, temperature forehead checks right now. For and sure. And you want to pull out your phone and just say, you know what, fuck you guys. I'm going to text 470-BAD JOBS. 470-223-5627 is the number. Uh, that is the number. And you can also call us uh, if you want, but I mean, whatever. It's it's your choice. That's the point here.
Caitlin, what's the first job you ever had? I worked at McDonald's right. for like two days. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> How long you- relationship? I was 15 and mm-hmm. they were opening a new McDonald's and my friend and I like applied, mm-hmm. got the job. You both got the job. Yeah, we both got the jobs and then, oh no. Yeah. Okay. So I quit while I was training <laughs> <laughs> and okay, got it. he stayed on and mm-hmm. like worked his way up and stuff. Yeah. But Went into corporate. Mm-hmm. No, not corporate, but he did get a lot farther than I did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. <laughs> so, I mean, we're clearly going to move on to your second job in a minute, but I am very curious <laughs> what, what, <laughs> okay. <sighs> Okay, my question is, what made you quit um, in, in in the training? But also, like, what made you? Why was that such a big turnaround? Like, it just seems to me like it's pretty clear what the McDonald's job is, right? So, what was the, what I, was the the disconnect in expectations? I was like a alcoholic punk kid at that uh-huh. point, okay. and uh, I just I didn't like the routine the authority <laughs> being uh-huh. spoken yes. to like i was an idiot i was yeah. on my lunch break and they give you mcdonald's to eat on yeah. your lunch break mm-hmm. and i wrote fuck you and french fries on the <laughs> on the tray and left it huh? there and went home <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> okay got quit. it yeah <laughs> uh-huh. mm-hmm. <laughs> So, so you were just sitting there, just like eating your fish fillet. I hope it's the worst uh, meal that they uh, give you. Um, <laughs> um, and you're just like, you know what? No, just yeah. I'm not. From what I remember, yeah, yeah. Do was- do you remember what did you think going in it was going to be though? Like yeah. if like. I don't you, know. Like, <laughs> like, just like, like, I think it's, I think it's fine. Like, I'm glad you had I'm, the wherewithal. And I'm to happy to blame us on alcoholism McDonald's as well. Yeah. Immediately. But it's like, but it's also a little bit like the, the, it feels a little bit like your reaction was like, this isn't what I thought at all. <laughs> like, so you yeah. Out of I, there. well, I know that I was like, I need a job for money. What happened was so, like, I was a punk and I used to hang out downtown on like mm-hmm. St. Mark's place and just like beg for change. And that mm-hmm. was, and then <laughs> okay. that's how I would eat and mm-hmm. drink and like, uh-huh. and sell my record collection and then get a new one and then sell the, you know, like, mm-hmm. sure, sure. So sure. I just like, that was what I was used to was that and just making like $20 last a whole weekend and all that stuff. Right. And um, wow. so I just didn't, I, I was just not uh, a fan of, <laughs> So it's just it's just completely there. against the DNA you had gained for yourself. Yeah. At this point. <laughs> yeah, so, exactly. Yeah. Like, I don't think I had an idea like, oh, this is going to be great. You just didn't know but, what a job was. Uh-huh. Right. I didn't uh-huh. have any concept of like what a job might be. Uh-huh. Right, 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 right. Because 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 the truth is all jobs are just things you don't want. Yeah. <laughs> and you're right, like, oh, exactly. I don't want any of this. And it's like, uh-huh. oh, yeah, yeah. The secret is nobody does. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. And I knew people that had jobs at cooler places. Right. Mm-hmm. Sure. So yeah. I, I more thought, pleasant oh, to be. stand around in. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like a t-shirt stores. And you yeah, know, yeah. It's, 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 it's very different from like a lot of our other guests because it's like most first jobs we get are like, even if they are at a fast food place, it's because it's like, well, my parents made me do it or I want my own money, but you already had uh, for better, for worse, a system of, of uh, uh, financial income into your life. And then, and it was, but it's so like wild west style, <laughs> what you're doing <laughs> That then you go into any sort of structure and that immediately is what you're like, oh, no, fuck this is what you're saying. Right. Like, yeah, hey, am I right? pretty yeah. much. And I like I didn't like my mom would be like, yeah, you need to get a job. Because yeah, I'm not of course. Give mm-hmm. you money because mm-hmm. all you're doing is drinking and like, mm-hmm. you know, you, but, you hold up a Ramones record. You're like, oh, uh, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me do you want to buy this, mom? <laughs> 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 but yeah, I just, um, right. Like I had no concept of any of, like, I, I was just very irresponsible and I yeah. refused to like really learn any skills uh-huh. until years later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, 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 okay. You walked out. What happens like that afternoon? <laughs> You know, like you just go, you just go back to, you're just going to go back for change again. Yeah. I think pretty much. Yeah. I like my yeah. mom would give me money sometimes for stuff. Sure. Like uh-huh. I would take like, she could be coerced. And, yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh-huh. Like, uh-huh. 
um but yeah that was mostly how i got by mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. okay so then and i was young long? so most of my other expenses you know like my living expenses were covered and stuff. right so yeah yeah mm-hmm. so then how long was it between this job and whatever was next like as far as official jobs i think like a year later okay. i got a job at a supermarket shop right and i was a mm-hmm. little more responsible then mm-hmm. but i still got fired Mm. Or well, it was like fired slash quit after I would work a job and get like one paycheck and be like, oh, cool. And then I would just like fuck it all up <laughs> <laughs> at that point. So, yeah, mm. like I got this job at ShopRite and it was like Labor Day weekend. I remember my boyfriend at the time was coming back from tour. And so he was in a band and I mm. wanted to hang out with him. And I was like, they like put me on some the schedule. You yeah, know? they put you on uh-huh. the schedule to right. uh-huh. Uh-huh. Which, like, that you know, the weekend. busiest time in a grocery store is weekends, you know. Mm-hmm. Right, especially Labor Day. And right. I was like, oh, I can't do this. And the lady was like, Well, then don't come back. And I was like, All right. <laughs> that was that. <laughs> and then I just went home and I was like, oh, I guess I got fired. And then I just like went away for the weekend. <laughs> uh-huh. So you so 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 in actuality, you were you showed up for let's say nine shifts like was it was it like a week probably or was it a yeah couple weeks? something like that mm-hmm. i know i was like on a the register so i learned oh you were a cashier mm-hmm. yeah i was a cashier yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so were you out of training i mean it seems to me like you could I still think... have been in training <laughs> i might have been training i don't mm-hmm. remember because i mean because mm-hmm. you know I, I i have never had to become a cashier but from what i've seen they have they are heavy-handed on the cashiers as far as train like you know they you're in training for a little while because you're handling money mm-hmm. and also because you have to remember all the fucking produce numbers and stuff. Oh, yeah. I remember this now. I also, yeah, I was a cashier and I would have to cash out every night. And um, somebody gave me counterfeit bills. Uh-huh. It was Ooh. like all counterfeit fives. Yeah. Uh-huh. So they were like, uh-huh. you're short, whatever amount. And I was like, I didn't Looked steal real. stuff anywhere. Like uh-huh. I was not. I mostly like, all right, I had no like ability to steal things. I tried to steal one time from Kmart at Astor Place when I was like 13 mm-hmm. and we left the Kmart and the security guard came out because there was an entrance through the subway train station mm-hmm. the dude came out and grabbed me and started walking back towards Kmart and my friends we all thought I was being kidnapped <laughs> <laughs> and he was like we caught you whatever and so stealing After an that, entire I, above ground pool ma'am <laughs> I was stealing like makeup and stuff which uh-huh. I like don't really Anyway, it was dumb. And it's things you can fit in your pocket. That's why. I mean, things I could fit in my pocket that were like nine dollars. But yeah. again, I had no money. So, <laughs> uh, so yeah. Ever since then, I just I never stole, and I knew there was cameras on me, and I was very anxious and bad yeah. at all that stuff. So I didn't. Mm. But I freaked out because I was like, oh no, like I didn't steal. I swear. Well, that's not like entirely <laughs> your fault, especially at, right. at like a low like. I understand, you know, uh, t- you know, like, oh, it's a fake hundred. And it's like, it's like uh, <laughs> clearly monopoly money, you know, like a $5 mm-hmm. bill. I mean, it was a on. bunch of fives. And when they said this was counterfeit money, I was like, oh yeah, it did feel weird when they mm-hmm. gave it to mm-hmm. me. Well, yeah, but again, mm-hmm. like, it just seems to me to like you should, uh, you should be granted a couple of those mistakes, especially in the $5 bill department. Okay. Let's say max, it was $25, you know, <laughs> like, right. you know, it's like, I think on. it's pretty smart to do that. Oh, it's extremely You're smart a counterfeiter. Yeah. No. And I think that they do focus on smaller bills, like 20, 20 and below, but right. it still is like, bro, like now I know what a counterfeit bill. Cause like, you know, <laughs> I'm just mad at these people a little bit because they had, they had a good thing, you know, <laughs> and they, and the you were going to quit on labor day, the you, oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> uh, 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 the supermarket for firing you. Um, I mean, you would have quit on labor day anyway, but um, <laughs> I'll say they like, didn't have a good thing in me. <laughs> yeah. I didn't steal that stuff, but I wasn't like, but I'm just saying you weren't going to continue to steal. You know, I'm not saying you were right. a good employee. You don't have to be a good employee to be a decent cashier. <laughs> like, right, yeah. Swipe the fucking things, look somebody in the well, eye and say yeah, this it, amount of money. <laughs> well, it's, it's no, it sounds like they're like what we're talking about is them getting mad at you because someone tried to rob you. I worked right. at a grocery store. But that's not why I was fired. <laughs> no, yeah, I, no, I but, 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 but you're already kind of like 
Right. Weird. Like, look, Caitlin, our job on this podcast is to be on your side. So you're going <laughs> to give us a little leash yeah, here. Yeah. Well, for all we know, you came in the first day. You held up the band t shirt of like your boyfriends where they're touring. And like, look, when he gets to this city, I'm out of here. All right. <laughs> when he's back in Queens, I quit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You keep the shirt. Now you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, this is my schedule. <laughs> Lay it, like, put it on the bulletin board. <laughs> <laughs> um, so. So no, but I, but I remember work when I worked at the, uh, I worked at a Whole Foods for like five years and mm-hmm. like the amount of pressure like that, like you're suddenly like, oh, mm-hmm. someone gave you a, a phony $2 bill. Well, Fuck let's you. take you into the back and they take you into a room. Mm-hmm. It's got one of those swinging light bulbs, like the old detectives. <laughs> right, and right. there's just like a really bulky cop that's just punching you in the chest over and over. <laughs> Showing and, you footage of you taking yeah, a yeah. bill from somebody. Uh, look how you see that smug look on your face, and then you check your phone, you piece of shit. It's just like, <laughs> this is for so, goji berry juice. You understand? Yeah, 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 this is yeah. liquid fucking gold. <laughs> it's all clockwork orange. They got your eyes all like taped <laughs> open and shit. You know, and you're just yeah. watching yourself take fake money. Yeah. So yeah. It, like, and and it's just and if you're because you're still a kid at this point, right? You're not. Right. So yeah, it's like it you're like 16, 16, 17. And you never 17. even held oh. a counterfeit bill in your hand. <laughs> yeah, That's the right. thing. Because I, I remember in, in multiple trainings, they're like, listen, don't ever accept counterfeit money. And it's mm-hmm. like, they don't even have an example for you to mm-hmm. see or touch. Like they'll describe the characteristics, mm-hmm. but it's like, bro, once you feel it in your fingers, you can tell, right? Also, Any- what are you supposed to do? If someone walked in with like a gun and they were like, I'm going to kill you. Like, <laughs> I'm not going to risk my life for, for $25. Yeah. 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 I'm not going to protect any corporation with my life. Correct. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. 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 So, you know, fuck them. You know, you had to get mm-hmm. out of there. It was going to go south anyway. Yeah. So I got fired. So then, okay. <laughs> so we're going to, we are going to go until we find a job A good in, job? in this early. No, 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 not a good one. <laughs> <laughs> we, I just see, we, I want to see if we can, you know, in, in, in a succession of, let's say we, maybe we get to five or six, let's I don't get know. Six months of, of work experience. Total work experience. Collective <laughs> six months. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. Six, so after, like a, a job after, that I held for six months. No, we'll no, 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 no. Okay. We got, we got two days. <laughs> and then it sounds like we got oh, till yeah. Labor Day. <laughs> so let's yeah, call it. Let's call days. it. We call it three weeks, maybe. Three weeks, we'll say. Yeah, okay. maybe I was there three weeks. So okay. what happens after this? It. You, you, you clearly are not looking for another job immediately afterwards. So where's the gap again? Uh, yeah, because then I went to rehab a bunch and uh-huh. uh, dropped uh-huh. out of high school, uh-huh. and I was like selling weed <laughs> okay. a little rehab? bit before. I mean, I definitely got out of rehab and immediately started drinking and partying. Right, again. sure, sure. So sure, sure, sure. I, maybe it was after. Yeah. And then, yeah, and then we moved to Harlem mm-hmm. and I got a job at Forever 21 in Herald Square. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. So it was opening. And that was an, I only lasted the weekend there. I think I was <laughs> okay. another like two days. Okay. I also think what's so funny, it's super <laughs> funny to me <laughs> that like the, your first job at McDonald's, you were like, I know other people that work at cooler things. So fuck this. And then you choose to work at the, uh, like, t- things that are also not in any way a good fit for you or your personality. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> like, uh, you know, for you to work at, you know, what I the the things that I know about you of like I would never place you within like spitting distance of a Forever Twenty One, whether you're shopping mm-hmm. <laughs> or working mm-hmm. there. Mm-hmm. Like it doesn't seem like a place that you would enjoy being in or around. Oh mm-hmm. yeah, definitely not. And I had just so I had just gotten my lip re pierced, and they were like, "You can't have piercings." Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I, I was guess like, that's on brand. Well, I quit, but <laughs> 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 I. Yeah. So like they had trained me and then they had me work in the overnight shift and they were like, you can't have piercings. And overnight. I'm like, Nobody's here. Overnight. Doing- <laughs> <laughs> like, well, the thing about Forever 21 is that like, it's a fucking disaster. The yeah. place is a mess at all uh-huh. times. And yeah. people just like pick something up and bring it upstairs and throw it down and mm-hmm. leave. Mm-hmm. And they have no, like their merchandise, it, they repl- they get new merchandise every week so there's just old shit at all times mm. and it was a fucking disaster so they would mm. have an overnight crew. crew just putting everything away just and like making the up. store not a nightmare anymore mm-hmm. right which is an impossible task but uh-huh. <laughs> you would do all you could 
Yeah. So sure. yeah, and they were like, you can't have visible piercings, but I'm like, nobody's shopping at three in the morning. You've just yeah. locked me in the store. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's fucking ridiculous. Yeah. That's, yeah. So, that's so crazy. So I, I mean, I, I <laughs> 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 yeah. Um, and I, you know, I understand like, not why that they would say that. I understand that they would be dumb enough to be like, oh, it's in the handbook. No yeah. piercings. Article you know? seven. Yeah. Code, blah, blah, but like, like, but like even to them, like who is going to check you on that? Like mm-hmm. the general manager or the regional say, you know what? They're not coming by at three in the fucking morning. Yeah, right. Yeah, I mean, yeah. what time do you, what time does your shift start? Like as soon as the store closes or like, you yeah, can, uh-huh. I think it started at like 9 p.m. or something. Okay. Got it. So you came in maybe as <clears throat> customers were leaving or something? I think they were all gone by the they time. They were gone. Or maybe it's as over. they were leaving. I can't yeah, remember. Sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The company you- is owned by Christians, I believe. Oh. Oh, oh those guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I think that's why they had yeah. the no. They have Chick fil A rules. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Wow. Oh, man. man okay. What a- so. Yeah, no, please. Nick, well, I was going to say, okay, like we don't have to get too into it, but like, give me a time on how long did you sell weed for after you were? <laughs> Not long. Oh, I wasn't like. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> we're trying to grab another life raft here. I really did it like here and there. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. As needed. It was a very mm. as needed situation for a while. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. how all my money situations were. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah. let's, say, right, let's roll the dice one more time. What happened after time, what it was, uh, <laughs> after it, it, it's like a roulette wheel? <laughs> I moved to Ireland. Okay. Oh man, dude, you're the best. And, <laughs> <laughs> and I worked like? at a toy store. Okay. Oh, that's tight. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. And that job I did keep for a little while. Uh-huh. Had oh, that nice. for a few months. What what okay. kind of what kind of toy store? Was it like a, a big like a KB or a Toys R Us or was it like a small yeah, it was toy? like a big um Stand, like a big warehouse like, yeah like a warehouse style okay. uh called smith's mm-hmm. oh, and, cool. yeah i worked there i was hired for like around the holidays and so right. i worked there through mm-hmm. the holidays maybe after yeah yeah you can always get like that <clears throat> that holiday hire and then you can kind of like mm-hmm. you know like trail it for a, like maybe even like a month and some change before either you realize like oh this fucking sucks <laughs> or well, they are like we don't need this many people the time, my boyfriend at the time also started working there and he worked there longer than i did uh-huh. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's a seems to be a bit of a trend. Um yeah. of the person you hired uh, were hired with or worked with. Oh yeah, out. they all stick around. <laughs> so what were your what was your responsibilities at this toy store in I was a cashier again? Cashier again. Oh, so you had okay. did you cite your cashier experience? Your prior Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I said I worked two days here and, and I don't even know what the money <laughs> looks uh-huh. like uh-huh. here. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> and your money is all crazy, so whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bunch of colors, so there's no yeah. way. Isn't it harder to counterfeit like all the multicolored bills? I don't know. I guess I just euros are up. a little bit harder, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just because there's, there's like it's like a like rainbow, rainbow, you know, <laughs> like and they have all hard. those like weird strips and everything in the yeah. So, yeah. And it's, you know, backed by many countries. So they all have lots of, you know, lots of thinking mm-hmm. to do to make right. it look all crazy. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> did, you, did you get in trouble there or you just literally like, OK, my time has come. And like yet again, you got your little bindle stick. Over your no, shoulder you know, what's and crazy? just hop the next train. They had the one Beirut thing that or I whatever. always remember about this was that they they would give out like people would have gift cards. And I was the only person who figured out how to process gift cards in the register oh it was not difficult you uh-huh. just escape a bunch and then sign in again and the gift card has just automatically gone through but everyone thought i was a, like a magician they were like wait, oh, wait, wait, she so knows how to do it i was like the expert other people couldn't <laughs> run gift cards they couldn't yeah like you would say like here's my gift card and then they would scan it and then uh-huh. the whole thing would just be like i don't know what's happening but you just hit escape a bunch <laughs> yeah i did escape and then sign back in and it was all through and it always worked. And I tried to explain that to other people, and they were like, "No, you know how to do it. You just do it." Right, and right, I became right. Became like the go-to <laughs> gift card person. Uh-huh. Yeah, it <laughs> gave you like a little crown and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. <laughs> so, so yeah. So you were trusted, you know. A little bit. Uh-huh. Yeah. Our boss. So the thing about that company, our boss, he would like hide in his office. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. All day. Yeah. No, uh-huh. but like, and then I guess, I don't know. Maybe somebody was like stealing money or like they just it was mismanaged in some yeah. way and the company was like going under uh, that that branch or was going under yeah. and 
he was hiding. And so it was like, there were far worse people above me. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh-huh, good, good, uh-huh. good, good. Yeah. 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 You're yeah, under yeah. Their, um, the umbrella of their awfulness. We also had, there was one time, uh, these pikeys, uh, came in and filled up two shopping carts and then pulled up their Honda civic right to the, the exit all on camera and just loaded it up when <laughs> they walked right through loaded just up their car while people were working away. there yeah yeah they knew Whoa. when the security guard was on break for like 15 minutes and they just stood there <laughs> uh-huh. casually walked past all of us cashiers yeah and just loaded up the car and left uh-huh. oh man um and pikeys in ireland are like uh sp- like what what what's it what what They're is like it? travelers it's it is like an ethnic group so mm-hmm. um I guess that's bad, but um, they're like, <laughs> say pikeys. I mean, everyone says it, but people sometimes say it like in a derogatory way. Oh, okay. Would, would you, like would that. you, would you say maybe something akin to like carnies? Uh, carnies are kind of an I, ethnic group. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, they are. So they're like an unhoused group of people. It's more, mm-hmm. I guess, in European terms, like gypsies. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. They're, if you ever saw the movie Snatch, Brad yes, I that's what I thought. Pikey. And I remember them saying it, but it's been a while. And I'm like, uh-huh. Pikeys. Right. Yeah, they live yeah, in trailers, so they're maybe. Like, uh-huh. They live in trailers. They're, uh-huh. like, they're on the um, move. Are they yeah, also the dastardly move. handsome? <laughs> like they uh, are fighting people snatch. for dogs. Not the ones that robbed us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was also a bummer. <laughs> I was hoping someone had a no. six pack, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, but they just like, I mean, you know, they kind of, they would set up camps and stuff mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. they were just in the community. Mm-hmm. Um, Do you know what they stole? Toys. I don't yeah. remember what exactly. I think they stole some video games. Yeah. Uh, N64s or whatever. Yeah, well, not well, hey, I'm not mm. that old. <laughs> this isn't I mean, that long ago. Um, what, well, I guess, uh, like, well, how long did it? But the 64s were out for a long time. They were, they were, yeah, but they were old. Were, that was when I, I yeah. I, well, I'm I'm 35, and I was like in sixth grade when I was jealous of people having it. Okay, yeah, you're right. So right, yeah, that time, was right, like, right. Was what was after N64? School. PlayStation. Yeah, no, PlayStation, yeah, but GameCube. Play- yeah, okay, GameCube. Game- oh, GameCube. Sorry, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I agree. PlayStation was after in, in, in 64s, but I feel like in six, uh, PlayStation and uh, PlayStation One and N64 were the same era, were they not? Yeah, I guess you're right. With Sega Saturn, yeah, I think were the three, and yeah, then yeah, but yeah, then yeah. GameCube, PS2, yeah, and Xbox, Xbox. Xbox. And Sega, yeah, oh, and yeah. Xbox. I was gonna say Sega Saturn then still, but nobody wanted it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Got it. All right. Okay. Um, just, did they like? Thanks keeping, for the lineage. <laughs> keep keeping with stereotypes. Did the Pikes? Did they? <laughs> uh, did they have a fu- like a very funny language, like in Snatch? Um. Like no, they, they definitely like, have rubble, accents. Rubble, rubble. They have yeah, accents? they have. I mean, well, I lived in Cork in Ireland, and Cork, the the people of Cork all have insane accents okay okay so it Tight. wasn't mm-hmm. pikeys mm-hmm. have different accents but in in mm-hmm. irish culture everyone in cork sounds insane how did you get <laughs> <laughs> how did you get to ireland <laughs> i mean like, again yeah. it's very difficult to to follow <laughs> like, and, and, and i know the record we're yeah. counting the flight over as your job experience too i'm gonna get us to oh, six yeah? at some point <laughs> <gonna get> us <laughs> um so i my mom's family, my mom's like second generation American. Okay. Um, her family is from Cork. My great grandfather was in the revolution. Okay, got you, okay so you had some ties. Right. Yeah. Legitimate. Ties. I mean, like, so I had been there a few times. And right. in that year, when I dropped out of high school, I went to Ireland with my mom and like took E from strangers and all, like had fun. Uh-huh. So I was uh-huh. like, uh-huh. And I, you know, I had a drinking problems. So I was like, yeah. my problem <laughs> Let's is Let's go to Ireland. America. Right. Yeah. It was like, mm-hmm. I can't drink legally here. And I know everybody in New York. So let me go to Ireland. That'll solve my problems. You know? Sure, sure, sure. So, Let's go uh, to a fresh it. start in your head. Right. Yeah. Fresh start. I got uh-huh. into film school there. So uh-huh. I was oh. in school. And, uh-huh. yeah. So it did. So it sounds at least a little bit, maybe I'm wrong, but it, did it take a little bit like to change? Did it change you a little bit? Did you grow up a little bit over there or what? Yeah, I'll say I got more responsible. Like once oh. I had to like cook for myself and feed myself and do my mm-hmm. laundry and all that stuff, I definitely grew up in that way very quickly. Mm-hmm. But I also was like a terrible alcoholic. <laughs> right, 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 right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the addiction like doesn't really solve itself in like the right. change mm-hmm. of scenery way. Via laundry. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For real. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. I did learn those kinds of skills. Yeah. So it mm-hmm. it 
it, yeah, it had pluses and minuses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, the minus being able to legally drink, I assume. Yeah. That uh, was, was probably huge. one of them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Also um, a plus though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, oh, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. yeah. yeah. A party plus for sure. Big, big plus in the, in the short term. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, okay. We're going to roll the dice one more time and then we're going to have to move on. (laughs) What happened job wise after this toy store? So how did you leave the toy store though? You just, you just bounced. You was like, I can't remember. I think they were like maybe laying people off or I I can't remember. I I did. I was pretty bad at drinking at one point. So, okay. You got it. Yeah. yeah. You were were fireable. Yeah. Most of my youth is a blur, but Mm -hmm. these are the highlights. Uh, (laughs) Oh, I believe it. We're hitting up some major highlights here. Can I, uh, can I ask you more about these pikeys? I, um, (laughs) what, what, what I don't know the pikey. (laughs) Yeah. We don't have a pikey representative here, but I just like, I love, I appreciate the Ocean's Eleven style waiting for the security guard to go away <laughs> oh, before yeah. we enact our multi-man like operation. But mm-hmm. so then what does the security guard come back and he's got like a croissant and he's like, oh no, <laughs> like what what is what goes on? Like they the, didn't find out they, until they watched the security footage. Who's they? The security like, cameras? The, the store people. Yeah. Uh-huh. I don't but know. but I didn't you or were you I maybe you weren't there, but the cashiers, some people I was saw there this. working. Mm-hmm. People saw, well, for me, it was busy because it was oh, around the holidays the and, yeah. uh-huh. and I'm the cashier. And I just, when I saw a bunch of people walking out with shopping carts full of stuff, I just they, assumed, oh, you're, just, oh, you're oh, one of many stuff. cashiers, uh-huh. right? Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, so, so, so this really... was not even known until. Yeah. yeah. Uh, how wow. much later? A few hours later, like yeah. towards the end of my shift, people were like, oh, we got robbed, you know? But I'm right. like, oh, those guys, like, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's. But like, I mean, good. I, I don't want to <laughs> say anything that will get me canceled with the Pikey community. But, uh, uh-huh. but Listen, Pikeys, community. we're cool. Here's the thing. They're travelers. We should just call they're them travelers. Them. They're travelers. Um, but uh, yeah, like I, they kind of had reputations for that. I had a friend, Mark, who was not a traveler, but he hung out with travelers. And mm-hmm. he, he would travelers. always be like. Mm-hmm. Here's a, hey, you guys want to buy some iPods or like a laptop? Right, right, right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you guys want to buy some iPods. Yeah. <laughs> Multiple. Exactly. So, yeah. Can get rid of this nano. Yeah. I mean, I guess that's just par for the course then at that time that sometimes these travelers show up. But I mean, respect, mm-hmm. respect yeah. for the just broad daylight, just like we're doing this, you know? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just pretty cool. stacking like I mean, uh, stacking I like little money cool. bags with a money. No, I'd say pretty <laughs> yeah. cool, actually. Pretty cool. I think right. robbing corporations is cool. Yeah. I'm okay. fine with that. Okay. Uh, all right, pretty cool. Who, pretty who cool. got hurt? Literally, nobody in that case. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe the security guard got in trouble. Uh huh. Yeah, nobody got like physically hurt. Yeah, I would also so, imagine that if there were if there were that many of them and the one security guard was there, I don't really know that he would have been able to stop them. I mean, we, I don't it was a whole family though. There were kids. Right. Oh Robin. really? Oh yeah, wow. that's was, great. Yeah, Whoa. in the sense of like making it look casual, you mm-hmm. know, mm-hmm. like if it's if it's five adult men, <laughs> uh-huh. you know, it's yeah. like what are they all doing in this store? But if you bring like kids and stuff, just like hey kids, just grab whatever you want and put it in a cart, and we're gonna leave. <laughs> yeah, and, and it's like, it oh, those people with children are leaving, just like those other people with children are leaving. They must be right. the mm-hmm. people that should be doing this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, those um, people are traveling out of here now. There you go. <laughs> I wonder if they'll continue to travel. <laughs> Beats me. <laughs> and then Caitlin just goes to walk to like the Sim City simulation and writes "fuck you" in the and like the cityscape and is out. Well, that job was crazy. I mean, like we had a bunch of uh, like because the guy I was dating, he would work in the back. In like the warehouse part, mm. and they were just like drunk all day on the forklift and stuff. Yeah. That place mm. was like it was a party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's that's okay for a toy store, I think. Though you know, you want yeah. a little whimsy in that kind of thing. You want oh, it a little... was no, it was like a mess though. There was like mm. they were drunk and <laughs> we were robbed. <laughs> yeah, sort of mm. uh, held together very thinly by just mm-hmm. the fact that people kept showing up for work, which is yeah. Yeah. You know, honestly, most places are really held together by just that. Yeah. Just the and then leadership was just hiding. 
upstairs. Literally hiding. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. And it seems to be hiding money. They were, and that's the thing. They were doing way worse things than this one yeah, family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. I mean, the travelers robbing it were like that was that a one-time thing. This person's right. like skimming money off the top, you know. So, mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And people were drunk on the job. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Operating uh -huh. heavy. Machines. Bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, that person could have come out of their office one time and been like, "Hey, yeah, don't drink down here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll be but, back tomorrow to double check that you're not." <laughs> Yeah, but who knows what he was doing? Yeah, sure. for sure. Yeah. Okay, I think Chase. I think we got to try to we find gotta. the rest. We got to try yeah. to find the rest of these. Uh, I was gonna say in the in the bad jobs, like we got to yeah. find the rest of the experience. Okay, it's gonna be a handful. <laughs> All right. So okay. All right, Caitlin. That is what we will call your first chapter one of jobs. Mm -hmm. We'll call it right. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So what would you say is the worst job you've ever had? It's just in general, like when I was a set PA. Kind yeah. Of oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Those... You talk about getting ordered around, like. So, work. for those who don't know, a PA stands for production assistant. Production assistant on like sets for shoots. Yeah, like TVs, yeah. TVs, TV commercials, shows, whatever, commercials, films. Yep, yep. Um, I haven't had any like truly horrendous experiences. Right, you, none of the like, there's croutons in this salad, you know, yeah, <laughs> any yeah, of those yeah, crazy yeah. ones. Yeah, not too much of that. Mm. But for those who don't know, you know, like shoot sh a shooting schedule for like an actual show, you know, like that mm -hmm. has a schedule is long, you know, like you'll be there for a long time. Uh, people right. can be assholes, you know, like just imagine any job where you're just supposed to you're you're supposed to be there for 11 hours. <laughs> Right. Mm -hmm. Well, and like the thing about PAs is you're like one of the first ones in and the last ones out. So it's yeah. really like uh, 14 to 15 hour days. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And like it's it, I mean, it can be if it isn't physical in the sense of you have to lift a bunch of stuff, it can be physical in the sense that you're there for 14 hours. You're going to have to walk somewhere a lot. There's other people that are like, you know, lifting mm -hmm. big boxes and lights are going places and things are coming in out of trucks. Like it's like, you know, to be on site of a shoot, there's just a lot going on. Oh, I just thought of a bad job. Oh, please. No, hit me. Uh, I did data entry mm. in Chicago, near mm. a mile at a furniture. Was it furniture that we were selling? Yeah. Furniture store. You did data entry. So yeah, say that again. Data entry at a furniture store? It wasn't a furniture store. It was like an office. And what we did was we like sold furniture. We were like the third party vendor that would post things on like Amazon. I don't fully understand what was happening there. Okay. 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 Yeah. But it was a Good small recipe. office mm -hmm. and it was bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 It was so, um actually, so it was around, uh, I think it was like 2015. Uh -huh. And so I made a really good friend there. I'm still friends with her, Jules. And, um, Shout out, Jules. The, shout out to Jules. Shout out to Jules. Shout out to Jules. Shout out to Jules. She was cool. We were friends. But then we had this other coworker. I forgot her name, but it was around 2015. And she was like becoming a Trump person or was. Oh, Trump my person, God. <laughs> and was like, mm -hmm. like, I would. She just like hated me and she would just get more. And there was only like th four of us sitting there. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so small. she would be like yeah like saying all this like misinformation stuff and i'd be mm -hmm. like actually that's not accurate and she would like lose her fucking mind mm -hmm. and we had mm -hmm. to all sit there with her while she was like having a conniption and then our like she had been there for years trying to like work her way up to something and mm -hmm. i just walked in and i didn't give a shit about the job and i you know yeah. So of course the boss You're like playing me. a few of the same old Caitlin cards. Right. <laughs> same old thing where I'm just like a fun I'm just here. who knows how yeah, to type yeah. and <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my accidental uh yeah, same with like the gift card thing where I just accidentally figured out how to do the job efficiently. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> yeah. And yeah. this chick couldn't do it and she was, you know, big on Trump. And so <laughs> uh -huh. it was just a mess and mm -hmm. it was just so tense. And that's what yeah. made it shitty. Yeah. So so, okay. So what was your job? <laughs> like, what did you do? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I was like typing, I'm processing an invoice or something. I don't fucking yeah. know what the hell I was doing, but the boss kept giving me like more responsibilities that were like going above this other chick. Oh, okay. Oh. You're just and, doing more of her shit. Yeah. Right. But it would be like, 
like I was doing something. I remember one day and she was like, oh, well, like our boss needs to do that for us. And I was like, no, I'm the one doing it. And she was uh-huh. like, ah, you know, like, right, right, right. Uh-huh, you're, she, uh-huh. you're just getting more responsibility because you were just not obviously shitty at your job. Right. And she was just, I mean, in addition to other reasons, she'd be mad at you. Uh-huh. <laughs> she yeah. was uh-huh. mad at you because you were clearly growing and she was clearly not growing yeah. in those categories. She so- definitely stormed the Capitol. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. She 100%. Yeah. Went on to storm the Capitol. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So her, the beginning of her, of her devolution was then mm-hmm. and there. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, yeah. That was her character arc. Um, <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, starting with you just like taking on more mm-hmm. spreadsheets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And people, you know, whatever, not talking about mm-hmm. building a wall or whatever. Yeah. The fuck her deal. Yeah. Yeah. Pizza yeah, yeah. Gate I is think, real. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, think, I mean, yeah. that was, yeah. Sorry. No, no, I was just going to say, I think that like, what, whatever her like uh, political beliefs would be like, like even if they're Looney Tunes or whatever, it's like, (laughs) she's like forcing them into a workplace in a data entry store for a furniture company. It's like, well, yeah, now's not the time. And then, and Mm -hmm. it's like, if she stormed the Capitol, it's like, yeah, now's not the time for that either. (laughs) Why are you horrible at picking your battles? Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. No, I mean, I don't mean to bash everyone that stormed the Capitol. (laughs) (laughs) But this bitch. (laughs) (laughs) But yeah, no, I also, the one thing that was pretty funny about that job is that she was like the main customer service person. So people, we would have recordings and we would listen to them. Mm-hmm. People calling mm-hmm. and being like, "You fucking cunt at her and stuff." Oh, and fuck. like that was so funny. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Was she bad at the customer service thing? Is that? I mean, no, it was just people were maniacs. People were just customer terrible. Service. Yeah, I don't. I didn't do customer service, but yeah, people. I mean, yeah. no, I get it. They would be like, "We can't accept this, and we can't give you your money back, and you sign this thing," and then they right, would like right. lose their mind at her. Which I mean, that obviously that's not her being incompetent. That's just mm-hmm. them being bad customers but for sure mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. i mean you know yeah you could call them bad customers although we are in this group of people still very unclear as to what they are customers of <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah they were like buying they, furniture that we never they're buying off the internet yeah got it it was very <laughs> vague yeah. but this is i think actually vague. this happens this happens this is this is a this thing. is a craigslist job Oh, was okay. it? <laughs> yeah. uh-huh, uh-huh, but this happens, uh-huh. you know, all the yeah, time. Yeah, this is real monkeys in a tree. <laughs> it's like real, yeah. like, I don't really understand or what's going Or Yeti on here. holding a check. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Um, <laughs> um, but like, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm sure that it's just like there's an inventory and you're just the third party and you like are better at posting ads than like some mm-hmm. <clears throat> warehouse in like China that manufactures the shit, you know? Right. And you're just like, yep. When they place the order, it never touches our office at all or our warehouse mm-hmm. or anything. We just handle like the, the U S basically the, like the U S based payment and like off it goes. Right. Like, yeah, totally. Because I work for, uh, like a, a juggling store. <laughs> Speaking of just the worst um, things, um, worst Wait, you, like things that were like, jug- you work for a juggling store. A hundred percent worked for a juggling what store. The yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Every uh, fourth episode of this podcast, Chase reveals a job. <laughs> that nobody knows he had um the bottom line is there were occasionally products that were manufactured in china you know it was a website mm-hmm. right and you just went to the website and you did the thing and then it would, it would in this case in this store not as frequent but in that world of like circus props and juggling fairly mm-hmm. common like that you could just be uh one of these things where you're just like yeah oh, we sold it to you we did we never fucking saw it <laughs> right but, like here it is and if it yeah. sucks it came literally j- direct from the manufacturer in a city in China. And we have nothing for you if you don't like it. (laughs) Right. But you're the one that they have to scream at. (laughs) Correct. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 No, you call me and it's like, well, it's, 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 it's long over. (laughs) Mm -hmm. This came over on a boat and is now at your house. And so you can throw it away if you want, but otherwise nothing else is happening. Um, So yeah, that sounds bad. That sounds like a bad thing. Yeah. That was a rough job. (laughs) How long were you there? I was there for a bit, a few mm-hmm. months. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Here we go. All right. <laughs> yeah. Cause I was like All a right. freelance graphic designer and okay. I wasn't making much money off that anymore. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. so you were doing that basically the work cooled off. Like you, you were doing it for a little while, the freelance graphic design. 
Kind of. Yeah. I just had like one main client and it was, I wasn't getting, I mean, there wasn't yeah. really much to do. So, yeah. okay. yep, 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 yep. um, and I was a cam girl during that. Uh-huh. Okay. Just yeah, moonlighting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You give, mm-hmm. giving it a whirl. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You quit during training. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just continuous ship in the night. Just <laughs> handling my own business. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I did all that. Um, yeah. <laughs> so- <laughs> <laughs> that was the worst. <laughs> um, What's, okay. Well, I mean, a lot of meat on this bone. <laughs> <laughs> tell you right now a lot of meat on this phone um what's the day-to-day when you go in there though like you walk in i'm sure that everyone has this sense of dread like oh shit brenda's there or whatever mm-hmm. but like mm-hmm. outside of that is it cool or is it just wonky is it always tense what is it like when you walk in uh it i think it was kind of a little tense the boss that we had was just weird I, I, mm-hmm. all, he like wanted to be cool and mm-hmm. he wanted like us to like him uh-huh. and it, it was uh-huh. like what kind so of like sunglasses weird. inside or like <laughs> like break the rules pool what kind of cool is he trying to be like a very like high school like uh yeah we'll say her name is brenda because i forgot her name but mm-hmm. like brenda mm-hmm. sucks right yeah mm-hmm. we hate <laughs> <laughs> like, like, but I'm cool, right? Uh, like, he would come to where we were all sitting, and if we were like talking about something or like laughing about something, he'd be like, "Hey, what's going on? What are you laughing at?" Like, what's oh my on? god! But then god. he also okay. would come over and like we would g chat each other because they would like watch if you were talking on a different, and they wanted yeah. us to talk. Now I'm remembering everything. They yep. wanted us yep. to talk on instant messenger, like AOL instant messenger. AOL instant messenger, incredible. Which I didn't even know existed. They pulled anymore. it up from the yeah. dread. You were the uh-huh. only company keeping that, yeah. <laughs> keeping yeah. that use yeah. like that so software afloat. Do that right, and then we would talk separately on Gmail, and then he would be like, "Why are you not on?" Because I mm-hmm. guess they could watch mm-hmm. what you were saying on AIM. Or yeah. Yeah. I don't fucking know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But mm-hmm. he was really like aggressive about that, and like, "Why are you chatting to each other?" And I don't, it was just very. Uh-huh. It was weird because it's like, why would you not want your coworkers to get along? Right. Uh-huh. Or like, why uh-huh. do you care? You know. Right. Uh-huh. It's not like we like, weren't working. Right. Yeah, and yeah. like, for sure, people are occasionally going to conspire against you. But like, you don't want to see that when they do. <laughs> this is all reminding me that I also had a job at a coupon place in Chicago. And the CEO would sit right behind me. Uh-huh. My job, I would do the design. So once it went live, I had to coupon? look at it on. Right. I had to look at it on Facebook and whatever. Um, like make sure it looked like it looked when you initially designed it. You know, like, right. And make yeah. sure they use the right image, all that. So I would have to go on Facebook a bunch, you mm-hmm. know, but I also didn't have much work to do. The CEO mm-hmm. would sit like right there behind me and write down how many times I went on Facebook and then email it to my boss. But then you have to be on Facebook for your job. Yes. <laughs> he was like, she's on Facebook all day. Uh-huh. I was like, That's but he's right behind you saying this. <laughs> yeah. He's right behind me. Clocking, if I open Facebook, one, open Facebook, two. Like he was like tallying how many times I went on Facebook and then emailing the number to my boss. Like she went on Facebook 25 times. And then what did your boss do? He was like, okay, like (laughs) what Uh what am I supposed to do about that, man? But did that was a bad job. But your boss clearly informed you that this was happening because otherwise, how would you know about known about it? Yeah. He was like, Yeah, the guy's emailing me. So just like try to hide it or not do it. And I'm like, I need to do it for this job. It's and my trying job. to hide doing my job at my <laughs> right. job from my boss. Because <laughs> also I would like talk to people while I'm on there because I just literally had to look at Facebook and then wait like two hours. Right. So I was just sitting there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. Sounds cool. like a bad person. <laughs> yeah, he was a nightmare, that guy. He also like he hired all these like hot women that were like around his age. <laughs> What was his age? I guess, I guess he was like at the time, right? Yeah. He was like maybe like mid to late thirties or early forties. Okay. So he hired all these women that were like hot thirty something, uh-huh. and uh, and then they all got married and had families and didn't fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> so the but yeah. the office was full of these kind of like new moms, like hot, mm-hmm. yeah, hot getting married late 30s chicks. <laughs> just like a bunch of people with fiancés yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> so there's a lot of that going uh-huh. on okay yeah yeah uh. he was awful and he lived across from jerry springer in the penthouse of 
whatever fucking Sears Building. Tower or oh, whatever. Man. <laughs> know, man, 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 you, what is your life? Like, I feel like, <laughs> like it's just, it's just these, these snapshots are like, uh, even from the way you're describing, like your youth has been kind of a blur. It's just like, we're just popping in and it just feels like a, just a roll of the dice as to what, <laughs> Well, what it sounds like it sounds like the be. final scene yeah. in like when someone's remembering what happened in like a war movie when like uh um it's like a it's like a night scene and like um explosions keep have happening in the sky and so mm. you just see like one thing like somebody like pulling on somebody's shirt <laughs> really yeah. and then it goes dark again and, and then the <laughs> and then like the lights up again and you see someone just like covered in mud or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a, that's I feel like that's the that's the experience so far. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Is that good? Here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, ve- I'm very happy you're a writer because this is mm. this is very good. Like, <laughs> I, I, like, I'll tell you right now, when you like you talking about Jerry Springer, like I forgot about the Pikes. That's how far <laughs> we've gotten. <laughs> oh yeah, there were Pikes. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Now mm. we got Jerry Springer across the street from or across the uh, across like the, the hall, hallway. I guess. Yeah, yeah. from this yeah. fucking CEO. What what blows my mind is that the CEO is near you. Yeah, yeah. Like, Me how too. big is this office? Mm-hmm. It's like an open floor plan. Yeah, why? Why did he need to sit there? Why didn't he have his own mm-hmm. office with the door? Why did he even come to the office? Why like, did yeah. he need anything? Yeah. Why was take some phone calls? You're the CEO. It was a dumb, dumb situation. Uh, it was a that dumb, company dumb. is gone. I think mm-hmm. yeah. I believe that a I company based on coupons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I yeah. Believe yeah. That. <laughs> and also not like there's a CEO who has time. This is the thing that blows mm-hmm. my fucking mind is you are the you are the chief executive officer of a company, which means you are in charge of everything that gets executed at that company and mm-hmm. you have the time to watch if somebody else is doing their job, anybody at all. That means your Mm -hmm. company is not successful enough for you to have a CEO. Yeah. (laughs) I think he was just someone with inherited wealth that have Mm -hmm. no skills. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just around. Yeah. All started right, well, this company just to meet women. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he started a coupon company. <laughs> he could have started. Just be shopping. <laughs> <laughs> he could have started like a lifestyle brand or like a yoga clothing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But he decided on like, c- c- like Groupon already existed <laughs> in Chicago. Oh, they started in Chicago, right? And he decided, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do coupons to like Tide, <laughs> yeah. or I don't know, yeah, yeah. whatever mm-hmm. the fuck the thing was um wild what a dumb dumb idiot mm-hmm. <laughs> um well <laughs> well caitlin um we always ask three questions before we before the cl- the podcast is over to make sure we kind of like covered some bases but i think it's apparent we will never cover the bases mm-hmm. <laughs> here um, yeah wait, how- we only talked about bad jobs <laughs> is that mm-hmm. the whole point of the show no the po- yeah. most of the well, podcast is bad jobs but yeah, i mean yeah. uh-huh. what I mean, you could tell us about a good job if you want. <laughs> Some of the I've really had lots work. of good jobs. That's yeah. good. Yeah, I worked for this guy named Paul Sare. He was great. Uh, he's a graphic designer in New York. Uh-huh. Shout out to Paul. Shout out to Paul. You you were doing, yeah. I assume, graphic design. I was a design intern, mm-hmm. and uh, while I was graduating, it was my last year of college. He took me to SBA, and I was reviewing portfolios of people that were also graduating. <laughs> <laughs> wait, what's this? Wait, what Savannah College of Art? School of Visual Art. School in New of York. Visual Arts. This was New York. Oh, SVA. Yeah. I see. Yes, yes, yes. Wow. Because he was a professor at SVA. So you were just reviewing their work yeah. <laughs> for I fun. Was like, I'm graduating too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I also great. need a job. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Paul. So was that great. was a good time. That was a good time. Uh good leader. I'm a writer's assistant. So mm-hmm. I worked on a couple shows mm-hmm. recently, and those were great. They, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, I believe mm-hmm. that you've had good jobs. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. believe that people have respected okay. you. I, well, I hope. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I was a set dresser, and those were fun jobs too. Mm-hmm. Oh, that sounds fun. Yeah, yeah. that does sound mm-hmm. like a nice time. Yeah, I don't want people to think it's all garbage, <laughs> <laughs> and that I'm only there for a day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh no, you were at this uh, office thing for some months. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. and I don't think anyone's looking back at your two days at McDonald's when you were fifteen and was like. <laughs> I'd like really exemplary. holding that against you. <laughs> yeah, I don't think. Yeah, yeah I, I would guess don't. if if I got hired at McDonald's, I would also be there for two days mm-hmm. at any age. Yeah, I yeah. would be like, yeah, I mm-hmm. think I'm good. 
I think like your old okay. manager is going to hear this and be like, that's who did fuck you in the fries. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> she took a picture of it on, uh, on like a, you know, like a flip cam or something. It was like mm-hmm. keeping it forever. She's been texting it to herself every time she got a new phone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to fucking find out who did this. <laughs> um, okay. Well, we always have three questions before we close. Mm-hmm. Just, uh, I don't know. Ask three questions now um, for, Let's just say for the office job in Chicago, the the, off, the furniture thing, when were you done and how did you quit? Um, I forgot how I quit. Okay. <laughs> it was always supposed to be temporary. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. they, gave you, they gave you a basket of fries at lunch and you're like, I know exactly what to do. <laughs> I think I just started camming and then I was like, oh, I don't need that other job so I could just do this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 So you just stopped showing up or you did you tell anybody anything? We know nothing. I think. Oh, now that I'm thinking about it, I I think I attempted to give two weeks and my boss was like, whatever. Yes. <laughs> he was like, you can just go. You're like, you oh, This is the first time I've done this and I really feel like I should. It's like, yeah, mm-hmm. I was trying to do it the right way. And he was like, nobody cares. Yeah. And mm-hmm. he was right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it don't, doesn't seem like that company was really clear on who or what they needed. <laughs> Yeah, nobody knew what was happening. Yeah. So, you know, he was like, as long as we're cool, and by that I mean you think that I'm cool, we're you're good to go. <laughs> I was totally, he's like, if you do you hate me, is that why you're quitting? Okay, mm-hmm. fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you have any gum? Yeah, yeah. He was like, would you uh, would you I a question would you describe your experience working here as rad or gnarly? <laughs> Before you leave, would you sign my yearbook? Um, <laughs> and not and not on the first page. I'm saving yeah. that for Steph. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, who we will get married someday. Um, I'm mixing in with the other CEO, but still. Um, uh, okay, so question number two is: What would you say is one? This is this. Is, there's no way this is going to be an easy question to answer. Oh, no. What was one good thing you would say you took from that very bad job at that furniture thing? My friend Julia. Oh, yeah, you're that's right, what I friend. thought. That's what right. I thought. Forgot you we went to Riot Fest together. Oh wow! Oh nice. Yeah, yeah she was a punk, and mm-hmm. we ended up. Yeah. You weathered, mm-hmm. you weathered the storm. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 And you, the and you got survive. You got some hangs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Out sure. of the darkest times. Yeah. Um, okay. Question number three, not related to those jobs, <laughs> um, is we've, you know, there has been a pandemic. It is not entirely resolved. Uh, how have you like been? Any like new like directions or, or revelations? It's just a general kind of check in. How you doing? Uh, I'm doing well. I so yeah. I like I said. I got like I advanced in my career during the pandemic. That's great because mm-hmm. everything went remote. I was a writer's PA when oh. we shut down, oh. and then my boss recommended me to be a writer's assistant and mm-hmm. script Which coordinator is a on a sitcom. Yeah, mm-hmm. so I worked on a sitcom that filmed completely during the pandemic, all remote. Mm-hmm. And then I got a second job, which I just finished on Friday on another oh, show. Wow. Yeah, as a writer's assistant. So I was mm-hmm. a writer's assistant for 20 weeks on that. And then I just, um, on Monday, I'm starting back on that original show as mm-hmm. the writer's assistant. All right. Oh, cool. And you think it was, do you think it was the remote environment that like fostered that more? Or was it just that that's just kind of what happened as, as far as like the timeline goes? You know what I mean? Like you just met those like, people and. Yeah, it, well, like the timeline definitely like because I couldn't be a PA during the pandemic. So it kind oh, of no like such thing. They were like, we kind of need if we want you to keep you around, we got to think of something else for you. Right. Mm-hmm. And right. she had recommended me for that because I mean, like writer's assistant is not an easy job, but mm. like it's one that you can kind of figure out if you've been in a room before. Like mm-hmm. so it definitely, yeah. I think in a room hard, before like a you mean in a writer's egg. room. Right, right, right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it definitely, I think, helped nudge. It, it helped. Along. It was maybe kind of like a shit or get off the pot. Sort kind of. of well, it was for, like, a, for like them. this is the only support staff job you can. Like, it was, a, it was a promotion. Right. That, I mean, otherwise I would have had to wait until right now for the show to get a second season or whenever right, right, right. and then been promoted up to writer's assistant. But now because everything was remote, I just sort of like got thrown in the deep end and mm-hmm. figured mm-hmm. it out. Mm-hmm. And then 
Yeah. 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 Because, you know, so people may or may not know this, but like shows get in some cases like just told their budget. Right. So like, like you have a budget for this many, you know, uh, PAs, this many writers, assistants, this whatever. And so in, in essence, they were like, you don't have any PAs. So if you want to keep Caitlin around, you're going to have to make her this. And you were like, that's what I want to be anyway. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No. And so it's been <clears throat> cool. I like learned a lot from all the jobs I've been on. And <clears throat> yeah. So it's been fun for that. That's great. Yeah. yeah. That's all awesome. truly great. Pandemic's been cool. Pandemic's <laughs> <laughs> been cool, guys. Lay it's off. been great. People died, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Millions. Oh, no. <laughs> Maybe millions in the world. Probably millions. I yeah, think, probably millions. Altogether. I think we'll get there. Um <laughs> well yeah, we had like over six hundred thousand here. Yeah, it was bad. Alone. Still um, still continuing in some yeah. places. Um yeah. Yeah, not good. Not a great thing. Um, <laughs> we'll leave that where it is. Thank you so <laughs> much <laughs> for joining us, Caitlin. Where can people find you on the internet if you want to be found? Uh, I'm on Twitter at Jeffer Not, and mm-hmm. then Instagram underscore Caitlin Jeffers. And we'll put those links in the show notes so you can click around. Um, oh, yeah, and on you- hardtimes.net. Oh, yeah. Yep. You can, and we'll we'll maybe link to a couple articles, or maybe I think when you click on your name, there's like all. Yeah, you can like Caitlin. just. Yeah. Yeah. I'll put that in the show notes too, so you can just peruse at your leisure cool if you so choose um yeah thank you so much it was um a wild was, ride yeah thank you i kind of thought it might be but <laughs> it was even more of a wild ride than I thought, <laughs> and that's great um Love so it. yeah thank you so much and fuck this place thanks for listening everybody yeah thanks for listening if you had a good time don't forget to subscribe rate the podcast leave a review five stars four stars you can give less stars but don't do that i mean you can but just text us you know it's 470-223-5627 that's 470-223-5627 you can just let it out you know get mean we're here for you okay that's it bye for now Thank you.